my name is Tony Seeker, but uh, I wasn't born with that, that pronunciation. <laughs> uh, my real pronunciation is Tan Hussein Sheker, which, you know, when I moved to the, this country, it wasn't exactly the most popular type of name to have or to have an, an origin from the Middle East. So eventually I kind of just normalized it, if you will, uh, just to circumvent all the questions that come along with that. And I'm sure maybe you've experienced some of that yourself. What is your biggest inspiration when painting? And can you elaborate on the creative process? Now, my biggest inspiration is all emotionally driven. Um, so when I left Lebanon as a refugee as a child, I started to paint, but I didn't have a brush, so I used cardboard. And when I started painting, I would try to keep positive thoughts rather than kind of like the sad war kind of thinking. And I would harness the energy of the entertainers of that generation. So it was like Peter Sellers and Clint Eastwood and stuff like that. And I would get into their character, like Peter Sellers was like the funniest guy around. So I would make these movements and gestures and love his humor and make, you know, do accents and make prank phone calls. So I really like got into his character. And um, so I express that when I paint, I'm like kind of that person. You know, so I'm kind of like escapism in a way. <laughs> but over the years, you know, I've tried to make, make it much more positive experience. But what I found is that art, in a way, is something that can't be taken away from me. So even though you might lose your home or move from one country to another, you can always uh, go back to something that you found. And for me, it was art. Besides painting, are there any styles of art you would like to explore or that you do explore? Yeah, it's interesting. You know, I mentioned that I really love performers. Um, because there's something about getting into a character that gets you lost, you know, and I think getting into a zone Like when I paint sometimes I can get into a zone I completely forget about the world and I'm so consumed with what I'm doing That there's an energy that you get from them and I think what's helped me is yoga for example uh, To get to that point where I'm not focused on the end result but I'm just focused on the process and, you know, just getting through what I'm doing like being hundred percent into it and so in a way, I live my life that way, you know, so every moment is like that. I try to achieve that. And so in a way, I'm already, I feel like life is an art form, you know, so we can embrace that kind of mentality and deliver something around us all the time. Like when I walk into a store and I start talking to somebody, like I feel like I'm connecting in some way. And for me, art is about that, it's about connecting with humanity. Uh, so even though I love humor, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I come up with comedy all the time, but it's more in spontaneous or, you know, on the moment rather than scripted. When you give me some script, I just can't stick to it, <laughs> you know, so I'm very disappointed that way. But yeah, I love, you know, acting and humor and stuff like that, but I try to incorporate that just into my lifestyle. What has been the biggest challenge you face regarding your profession and how have you overcome this? The biggest challenge I think for me is making some sense of what I'm doing. Art, in a way, for some people, it's like a hobby or something like that. But I think for most people that work in my medium, painting, particularly abstract art, there's something more to it than trying to replicate something. It's something original. And it's coming from me, like I said, it's more of an emotional experience. Um, and it's self, it's like self-inspection in a way. So I always think of it as almost like having a journal, keeping a journal, but I'm just writing in a different language that I understand and I'm hoping it connects to other people in some way. But making more sense out of that, and I think that finding a higher purpose for the art rather than putting acrylic on a canvas has always been my struggle. Like, well, there's gotta be more to this than what I'm doing and trying to sell the art. It's not about selling the art, it's about doing some something special that you can connect with people. And I think that's been the greatest struggle, like finding where that spark is. And I think the diaspora art movement that I'm starting is where I'm really concentrating. And I'm so excited about that right now. What is your favorite aspect of your career that distinguishes you from others in the same industry or just in a general sense? You know, I think I described living life like it's living in the moment. And so I enjoy every aspect of what I do. The creation, buying paint, playing with the colors, slathering in, you know, starting a painting, picking out the canvases, getting inspired with music or a memory, and again, being driven emotionally. Sometimes it's a sad thought, sometimes it's fun or funny. Um, but I enjoy every aspect of that. And I think that 
ultimately from beginning to end, like all of it is very satisfying. It's great when somebody buys a piece of art, but it's really the connection that comes through the entire process because you're marrying the entire creative aspect with the production, showing it, having a show, people buy something, and you feel like you went through an experience from beginning to end and you come to a conclusion where somebody has a piece of your art and you've left something behind in the world that maybe makes it prettier and hopefully people connect emotionally uh, and are in sync with what I'm thinking.